just being away from people is one of the most marvelous fulfillments a man like me could have. This absence of humanity is a fulfillment so graceful. Alright, Mellow Yellow is the name we decided to go with. So this, as some will be aware, is uh, Estee's Big Bertha. This is a really big Bertha. Uh, it's 4 inch PML quantum tube. It's got the old Scott glass nose cone that you can see through, which is pretty sick. Looks like quarter inch plywood fins. Uh, I was going to do some fillets on this, but I figured I'd give you guys a break from the fillet videos. So instead I'm going to do a little bit of a kit review on the Aerotech Aero B High. I actually won this in the Rocketry Forum Secret Santa. I won the uh, big package, so this was in there amongst probably 20 or 30 Aerotech kits and a couple of kits from Art Applewhite, which is really cool. Yeah, I was actually looking at buying one of these anyway because I love rockets with strakes on them, even though I hate painting them with a fiery passion. Um, I'm, the name is a play on, act, obviously, the Arrow Be High, the sounding rocket, I believe it was, but I think it's spelled like that because it uses the same fins as the Aerotech Arrow Kit. I'm not positive, but someone can probably correct me if that's wrong. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, it's been a good few years since I've built an Aerotech kit, but I'm always excited because my first big rocket ever was an Aerotech Mustang, an Aerotech HV Arcus that my mom's friend gave to me. And uh, I just like them because they're so simple to put together. It's a great segue into the hobby if you're trying to get into bigger rockets, step into mid power and high power, which is why I'm going to make a couple adjustments to how this kit's assembled. But uh, for the most part, I'll be doing it to the instructions. Um, as someone who has built old Aerotech kits, it's really exciting to see them integrate things like an aluminum retainer and the conformal rail guides. Really kind of just make things way simpler, more modern, if you will. So I'm going to take it all out, see what we got here. So I'm going to be building it with CA. Um, I know a lot of people don't like CA, but my dad's first rocket, his first high power rocket, the one he used for his level 1 was an Aerotech strong arm, it's all built with CA and we put that thing through some abuse, so I think it'll be just fine. So, what is that? This, I will not be using. Steel wool? This, I will also not be using. The reason for that is Aerotech kits, especially now that they have this aluminum retainer and don't have the big motor hook anymore, um, are great starter high power kits, not just mid power. Obviously, being 29 millimeter, there's not a whole lot of power you can push through them. And we've flown a couple pretty H155 fast, H180 blackjack, and Aerotech kits with no issues at all. So, um, do as you wish when you build it, but I'm just going to put this eye screw in the top centering ring. They're fibrous, so it shouldn't be too hard to make a little hole, put a little CA around it, so it kind of brings back some of the rigidity and mount the shock cord directly to that. It'll allow us to fly some longer motors. The baffle stuff works perfectly well if you don't feel like putting any... I use dog bar for like a Nomex shoot protector. That's your call. You don't have to do it, but that's just... How I'm gonna... Looks like the tubes still come pre-slotted for... Oh, it even still comes with the launch rail lugs. We don't want those. Alright, welcome to voiceover mode. The mode where I didn't talk while I was building the rocket, so I'm gonna talk about it now. Basically right here I'm just doing your standard stuff, getting the fin locked rings on, testing them, putting them in the wrong spot, breaking the CA loose, and then putting them in the right spot. That's kind of the beauty of building stuff with CA is uh, if it's not on there super good, which I always kind of just tack things in place first to make sure because I mess things up a lot. 
I uh, just knock them loose and put them where they need to be and take care of business and make sure it's all good. Just did a quick test fit of the fins to make sure the fin lock rings are properly spaced apart. It's all standard stuff that's in the instruction. Here I'm just knocking out the extra cardboard that was in the fin slots so I can slide the motor mount assembly in and get the fins glued in place. And there you go, fin can is assembled. I'm going to skip the step for the uh, straights or channel tubes or whatever you want to call them for now. Because I was in a good mood and didn't want to ruin it by trying to put them on and putting them on crooked as I inevitably would later. You can tell by the way I handle the X-Acto knife, I'm a tortured man of many cut open fingers and one trip to the hospital for stitches. Eventually I did win though, moved on to using the supplied alignment guide to draw alignment marks down the body tubes of the rocket for the channel, whatevers, strakes. I'm going to keep calling them strakes for the rest of the video, sorry. I may make a suggestion, uh, draw your alignment marks before you put the fins on. Sound advice, me. I'll take that next time. But now it's time for me to struggle with getting super glue all over my fingers while I put these strakes on the sides of the rocket, and then quickly had to peel them back off and put them back on several times to make sure they were in a spot I was almost satisfied with. And that's where I stopped. Ah, this is the part where I got out the big metal ruler and measured the strakes to be cut for the upper body tube, and tried to do it with an X-Acto knife, then remembered there's a bandsaw in my shop, and went and used that instead. Finally, the strakes are on the upper body tube and they look nice and straight, so I plopped them onto the bottom body tube with the coupler and looked at them and did they line up? Of course not, so I took them off and glued them back on so they would correspond with the bottom ones, pretty much completely ignoring the lines I made with the straight edge earlier. But first, I took the shock cord assembly, ran it through the screw eye in the coupler and glued the coupler assembly together. Then a trip to the shop saw me cutting the one and three quarter inch pieces of the strakes to complete the continuous look from the bottom body tube to the top body tube, but then I quickly glued them on and lined them up kinda. I think that's about all the voiceover me you'll need for this one, so I'm gonna send you back to video me now. Alright, so there you have it. It doesn't fit on frame. The Aerotech Aero B High. Overall, a super fun kit to build, just like any other Aerotech kit. The, uh, channel tunnels are a little bit more of a pain than I'd like to admit. I definitely recommend not using CA. Use something that takes a little longer to dry. It says cement in the instructions. I don't know if they're referencing model cement, but that might be a better idea, at least for those. For the rest of it, CA is perfectly fine. I wouldn't hesitate to put an H or maybe even a 29 millimeter I in here. I don't think it would be a problem for it. Pretty good size, like a little under five feet tall, super light, like every other Aerotech kit. If you ever built an Aerotech kit and you liked it, you would like this one. So uh, we'll return you to your normal programming of making fillets and sanding stuff at some point. In fact, if I decide to paint this, there'll be a good amount of sanding because there's super glue all over my fingers, thus all over the rocket as well. But the next video is going to be a good one because uh, we're going to rocket launch this weekend. I've got a J800 and Brennan has way too much of a motor for a level one certification in that little rocket so it's going to be a good time we're going to do a lot of cinematic stuff and uh, cover the whole launch so hopefully we see you guys here next time and thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and check out impulse tees in the pinned comment on amazon.com see you later